everyone, it's me, Alex, and everyone's favorite bird, Archie. So today's video is a Yes Style prom dress haul. This is a long anticipated haul and it should have come out quite a while ago, but when Yes Style so kindly sent me a huge box full of dresses, they sent them to me for free, they got flagged at customs. It's because something to do with the fact that the box was so huge but the value was written as zero because they gave them to me for free. So customs flagged it and they wouldn't release the box and yes, Style ended up having to pay, I think they had to pay like $400 in import duties to actually get customs to release the parcel and have it sent to me. So uh, that's why it's taken a little while, but we're finally here, we're finally unboxing it today. Now there are 11 dresses in this haul. Each one of these dresses was chosen by one of my subscribers, so this is another episode of You Weebie, which is You Wanted It, I Bought It. So the reason I do these videos is because, well let's be honest, I'm not going to any proms anytime soon, I'm well graduated from school. There's really no point in me picking dresses when it's probably you guys that are watching that are looking for dresses to buy for your own prom. Now Australian prom season is coming up, I know it's all over and done with over in the States and other countries, but hey, if you like anything you see now, keep an eye out, if it goes on sale you could buy it wear it next year, I don't know. I'm an affiliate of Yes Style. I'm not being paid to make this video, but if you buy anything that I show you today, I'll make commission. Now that doesn't change the way that I review things. I always review them openly and honestly, if I find any problems with the garments, I'll tell you. Archie will tell you as well. Yes, he's a bird. He makes loud noises sometimes, and if you don't like that, or oh, there's other Yes Style prom dress hauls that you could watch that don't have birds in them, because uh, the bird stays. We also have new merch, by the way. We have our original The Bird Stays pin, and now, we have a very special pin, which is Archie and I. So if you want to pick one up for yourself, it's available over at Once Upon a Pin. I'll put the links down below. So uh, with that, look, look at this sleepy boy. He's literally falling asleep. It is late at night. So uh, yeah, let's grab this parcel. Eh, yeah, eh, eh, Daniel, <laughs> help me. See, Tati gets James to unbox all of her things for her, so. That's not a knife. That's a knife. <laughs> Thank you. There's a lot of dresses here, so I'm just going to jump straight into the first one. Dress number one. Now this one is listed as 66 US dollars on the website. It comes in sizes small through to double XL and it's available in pink and also red. Right away the expectation reality is spot on. So what I'm looking for in these dresses today is whether or not they are actually the dresses from the photos. Because you know sometimes with the online Asian retailers it's a little bit questionable whether or not the dress in the photo is actually the dress that you're wearing. But I'm fairly sure that this is the same one. It looks pretty much identical. Right off the bat, I think with sizing, if you wear Western sizing, you should size up. I chose this in my own size, which is a size small, but I can't lift my arms because of how tight it is across here. So if you're going to prom and you want to be able to dance and lift your arms up, I actually, I can't physically lift my arms any higher than this. Now here it is from the back. Aside from the sleeves, it is really, really comfortable and it's so beautiful. It's got these gorgeous little pearl embellishments all over it and little pink sequins as well. I'll give you a close up. This is a really good way to start the video. Like I said, I got these for free, but if I saw this dress in a shop for that price, I would definitely, definitely buy it. This has a bra built in. It's like a corset kind of bra. I'm actually not wearing a bra underneath this, but the corset thing on the inside has these like solid... Come down from there. So this dress has a built-in bra and it's kind of like one of those cyborg kind of bras because it actually sticks out further than what my own boobs do. So it's making me look like I'm a little bit more gifted in the breast department. So that's a plus for me. <laughs> it's not stopping me from breathing, so it's not really tight across my chest, but it's just tight across the arms. That is the main problem for me. I, I can't lift up at all. This is basically as far as my arms are going to go. So if Archie and I were trying to dance, I don't think that we'd be able to dance very comfortably. Actually, 
How about I, t I test dancing with Daniel instead of Archie? Dan, can you come dance with me? He looks very chuffed with himself. Aww. What I'm testing here with my fiance is whether or not we could dance. So. <laughs> okay, maybe if I just do this. Uh, put your arm on my shoulder, like so. I can't reach. Okay, there, we can dance like this. That's, that's it. But aren't you supposed to dance with your hands like up here? I can't read. So if, if you have a date that's shorter than you, you'll be fine. Dun 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 Like a little T-Rex like. Yeah, like a T-Rex. The old Alex can't come to the phone right now. Why? Because she's dead. A black dress, guys, can you believe it? Yes, I know, I would normally go for something pastel myself, but because this is an episode of your weebie, that does mean that I'm picking things that you guys wanted to see. And uh, there's a fair few of my subscribers that wouldn't be caught dead wearing pink, so this one goes out to you guys. This is a $72 wedding dress, but of course you can wear it as a ball gown if you like. It has a huge, huge chul skirt with quite a long train as well. I'll give you an up and down walk. not included. Expectation reality wise, it is definitely similar, but uh, I want to play a game. Can you spot the difference? It's not quite the same. Let's play spot the difference. Can you uh, spot the difference? Now to be fair, it is a very very good recreation of that dress. I don't know what brand that dress is from. This is almost it. Almost, but it's not quite there. This comes in extra small right through to triple XL So there's a really really wide size range. It is huge as you can see the train and the amount of tool that there is on the bottom It's a massive dress. It is quite easy to walk in. I'm not having any problem moving around. It's not heavy You could wear flats with this. It is so long and there's so much volume to it that you could probably get away with wearing flats And there is a lot of space on the inside for my legs and my feet. I do kind of worry that if you're wearing high heels you might you might get caught or something it's standing up on its own it's not going to fall down because it's got ribbing on the inside it has little bead embellishments on the corset so that's lovely too i just think that in the pictures it looked like there were far more flowers on the train and they didn't seem to be this lacy bit here so there's a couple of small differences but for a $72 ball gown, I think it's fantastic. Okay, this next one is a $70 dress. Now this one does zip up at the back, so it was much easier to get into than the first two. This comes in sizes extra small to double XL, and it also comes in black as well as this color. This color is listed as gray, but to me it's like a light blue, and that's why I chose it, because it looks like a pastel blue to me. It has this beautiful layer on the top with all of these lovely flowers all over it, and Archie seems to be slightly obsessed because it's got green on it and you can't believe it. I would recommend potentially sizing up in this because it does feel a little tiny bit tight. It's got a corset bodice again where it's got cups built in and it is just a little bit tight and it's slightly irritating me in my armpits as well because this lacy material it's quite itchy on my skin. So I think if you wanted to go for a dress like this, just size up a little bit to give yourself some more room. I don't think that you would have much of a problem with sizing up because you could always put a little thin belt across there and that would just cinch you in at the waist. It just doesn't cover my feet. So this isn't one that you could sneakily wear sandals with. If I wore high heels like this, you can see it, for my height, it would just be lifted off the ground. Expectation reality wise, I feel like this one, spot on, this is the same dress, definitely. It's not like the wedding dress where it seems to be a copy. This is actually that dress, as you can see, and it's beautiful. I feel like I could actually wear this. I don't even need a prom necessarily to wear this to because I could wear this just to a, a formal event. I mean, I couldn't just wear it after dinner or something unless I was feeling very extra. This one gets a major thumbs up from me. I feel like this is appropriate for... Ah! <laughs> I feel like this is appropriate for any sort of formal occasion. So $70, when you think about how big that wedding dress was, that was only a couple of dollars more than this one. So I feel like value for money, you do probably get more with that bigger dress. But this is just perfect for any formal occasion. So I really love this one. Okay, this next one is a $50 dress. Now this isn't quite what I thought it was going to be. Image-wise, it, I think this is the same dress, I'm pretty sure. Like if you have a look at the expectation reality, I think that this is the same dress. 
But for my height, I don't think that it's quite long enough. I think that if this was a little bit more voluminous and had a bit more length to it, it would be a really nice prom dress. Like I said, it's not necessarily a prom dress. I feel like I could wear this anytime. I would be more than happy to put this on and go out for dinner, go to a friend's house, go see a movie. I mean, I'd be a little bit extra, but it's appropriate extra, you know, like with these beautiful bell sleeves. By the way, this is a cardigan. The dress itself is short sleeved like this. It cinches in nicely here. It does have a zip on the side. It doesn't have any support around the boobs though, so I think you probably have to wear a bra with this one. I do really love that this cape comes with it though because I feel like I could wear this on its own with any outfit that I would wear. And then this dress, this is just a summery dress to be honest. It's got butterflies on it. I don't know if this is intended to be a prom dress, but this is one that one of my subscribers asked me to review as a prom dress. So hey, I hope that you're watching this and I hope that this helps you decide whether or not you'd want this one. This also comes in blue and the blue did look really, really magical, but I'm a sucker for pink and I couldn't look past it. It's got two layers. It's got this layer here that has butterflies all over it and then it's got the layer underneath, which is white. Listen to you, Mr. Chirpy Boy. You must like this one, do you? I think it's Archie approved. Okay guys, we'll keep this next one short and sweet, mostly because that's exactly what this is, short and sweet. This little one is $55. Now, I'm not the biggest fan. It might look cute from a distance, but unfortunately, there's just these two little bra pads just sitting over the top of my boobs, and you can see straight through the mesh, and you can see them just sitting there like pancakes. So, I really, really don't like that. I think that's very, very unfortunate. In terms of expectation reality, I'm not entirely sure if this is the same dress. I feel like, it is very similar, definitely, but I couldn't really tell that it had these funny pancakes here based on the photo. It does have these beautiful little petals that Archie is chewing on right now. And this layer, this chul layer, is really soft. Like, very, very, very soft. So, I'm not sure whether I want to recommend this one to you or not. I guess if you really like the design and you don't mind this boob situation, then go for it. But this one does get a thumbs down from me because, like I said, it's $55 and considering some of the other dresses in this haul so far haven't been that much more expensive, but they have been considerably better. So yeah, I'm, I'm just not sure, guys. Let me know what you think below. Tell me what you think of this little tiny dress. Fit-wise, it fits really well. This is the small and it feels a little bit roomy and very, very comfortable and easy to move around in and I feel like you could easily... <laughs> I feel like you could easily survive an entire night in this without being, you know, really, really restricted. So that does give it a, a bonus, but it could be better. So this one gets a thumbs down from me. Okay guys, this one is only $45. It's available in sizes extra small, right through to triple XL. So it's got a really, really diverse size range. I think if you compare it to the reality photo, it is spot on, don't you reckon? It looks pretty much exactly the same. This one is so comfortable. It was really, really easy to put on. I love the details. Like I love these little bits here. I actually didn't notice these little bits in the photo, but ugh, it's so cute. I really love how puffy it is. Like it puffs out so far. It's like a princess dress. And I think that the length of it is actually really, really nice. Like it's got a very flattering cut where it stops just above the knees. I think this is so cute. I know that when I was in year 10, we had, a, we call it a formal in Australia. We don't call it a prom, we call it our year 10 formal. And I remember my year 10 formal, I wanted a dress just like this. The dress that I ended up wearing, it was okay. <laughs> but that dress, you see that dress right there? That was $400. This is 45. I know where I'd be shopping if I could turn back the clock. You look very comfortable there, Archie. This one gets 10 out of 10 from me. I absolutely adore it. Definitely worth the money. The sizing is perfect. Huge size range. Love it. 10 out of 10. Okay, guys. Well, this one is $77. Expectation reality wise, I think this is Spot on. This one comes in extra small through to triple XL. So again, really wide size range. If this was an episode of Buzzfeed worth it, 
This one would be my worth it winner because for $77, I think this is one of the most beautiful dresses I have ever seen. It's got these little, what, what is this even? It's basically like wings. Look, Archie, I have wings. What do you think? I don't know if you're meant to wear that on this side or on this side. I'm not really sure, but I feel like you could put your arms on this side of it like that if you, if you wanted to. And then of course you can wear it like this. It has a very long train on it, which is a little bit difficult to organize. But I think that if you were taking photos and you had someone that could actually lift that and place it nicely for you, you could get some really lovely photos. You know, if you had your, your date standing there, you could face your back to the camera, put your hand on your date's chest like this and just look back over your shoulder. Pretty as a picture. Like I said, for the price and the diversity in the sizes, the beautiful, stunning look of it, ah! Oh, this particular dress has impressed me so much that I'm so tempted to get my bridesmaids dresses from Yes Style because this is just incredible. I have never seen a dress like this in a store before. I feel like quality wise, it's fantastic. This one is also really convenient because it zips up at the back. I really honestly feel like this is one of the prettiest dresses I have ever worn. So this one is 10 out of 10 as well. Okay, this one is an $80 dress. Now in terms of expectation reality, it does look fairly similar. This one comes in small through to 3XL. So again, great sizing that this website is having. I'm really glad to see that because sometimes I get people telling me that they love the clothes that I'm reviewing but they can't get them in their own sizes. So I'm really, really happy to see that this has a diverse size range in these prom dresses. The tulle feels a little bit uncomfortable. It's holding its shape very nicely, but it is also quite crinkly. If you have a look down at the bottom, it looks a little bit messy. Now the top has this lovely kind of lace bodice, which holds its shape very nicely and it's very roomy. I don't have very big boobs at all, but there is actually a lot of empty room in here. The corset is shaped, again, so it gives, it's like a cup in there but I have a lot of breathing room and I feel like if you had larger boobs you would have a lot of room for them to fit. So this is really nice and it zips up too. So it's always much easier when it zips up. It makes getting ready so much easier. So I do love this dress, but at the same time, I don't think that it's the best one. I feel like for $80, if you have that sort of budget, you should pick one of the others because this one, while it's nice, I just feel like it's a little bit messy with the tulle. It just looks a little bit crinkly, a little bit awkward, but hey, you might love it. Let me know what you think. Maybe you'll love this one, but for me, I just feel like some of the others were just so much nicer, so I don't really rate this one as highly, but it is still a beautiful, beautiful dress. Okay, this next one is one of my absolute favorites. This is a $35 dress. Can you believe it? This is incredible for $35. It is so soft, true to size, really, really comfortable, beautiful design. I really like the length of it, how it's under the knees. Now, this has such a good size range. It comes in extra small to 4XL. I feel like most people would be able to find this dress in their own size, and I would trust the sizing. I went for a small, it's fitting me perfectly. This is another one that zips up at the back. Expectation reality was, I don't actually have a picture for you because on the website they were showing this picture but then they just had all of the color selection available so it said navy blue and champagne and all these different colors but this was the image that was showing so I kind of went out on a limb choosing this one in navy blue without seeing the photo but I'm so so glad that I did I chose it in navy blue because the person that requested it specified they were like oh can you get the navy blue version because there's no photo and I want to see what it looks like so there you go that's what it looks like. This is stunning. I love the way that it moves. Like this skirt is so beautiful. Ready, Archie? I feel like this is also appropriate for a wedding or, you know, any sort of formal function, not necessarily a prom, but yeah, weddings or birthday parties, graduation, things like that. This is perfect for multiple different occasions. So this one is in my top three, I think. I absolutely adore it. And the blue, this is a really, really nice shade of blue as well. And there are so many layers of this chill skirt. Ugh, I love it. Do you like it? I'm sorry. We only have two more to go, so let's get into it. Okay, this one is my favorite. Uh, I'm just gonna come out and say it right now. This is my absolute favorite, and it's Archie's favorite too. This is probably almost tying with the one that was blue with the 
really beautiful wings hanging off it. But I do think that this is my favorite purely because this, the skirt, it just falls in such a beautiful way. Now this dress is $72. It's available in extra small through to 3XL. This is definitely, definitely the dress from the photos. The expectation reality is spot on. I, I think this is incredible. It has these stunning, stunning butterflies on it. I definitely think that this is worth it. It's such a beautiful dress. The butterflies really, really make it. But the best part about it has to be the fact that the skirt, this long, beautiful skirt, it honestly, it just falls in the most beautiful, amazing way. There's so many layers, but it's really, really shaped so nicely. Ah, oh, I just, I can't, I can't rave about it highly enough. And I can lift up my arms, even though it's got sleeves. I'm not having any problems with lifting my arms either. Maybe, you know, maybe just a little tiny bit, trying to get up to this point. It sort of tugs here a little bit when you lift them up that high. So if your date is like six foot tall, then you might struggle a little bit, but it's still, I'm still able to move around like this. I can't bring my arms really, really, really far like that. So it is a little bit tight. So you could potentially size up if you wanted to, but I'm feeling very, very comfortable. And uh, I just, I can't rave about this highly enough. This is incredible. <laughs> and onto the last dress. Okay, on to the last dress of the day. Now, I'm a little bit sad that we're finishing on this dress because I want it to go out with a bang and I really don't like this one. So this is a $72 dress and I feel like compared to so many of the others that were cheaper, it's nowhere near as good. I mean, it is comfortable, yes. It is stylish, yes. But for a start, it's very pointy here and this is not my nipples, this is literally the cups but it looks like nipples that are pointing in two drastically different directions like this. So it's very unflattering. And I just personally don't think that it looks like the image, you know, like the image is, I mean, yeah, I guess it is the same dress, but it just seems to be creasing in unusual ways. I don't think that it's very flattering. You might like it a lot, but I personally don't. Just, I have it in the back of my head, like this is $72. And some of those other dresses that I tried were cheaper and they were so much more majestic. So this one is, eh. Yeah, I think that this gets a thumbs down from me. But again, let me know what you guys think. Do you guys really, really like this one? Maybe you do. So with that, guys, that's everything. I think we'll uh, say goodbye now. So uh, let me know down below what dress was your favorite. If you have any other items from YesStyle that you want me to review, just let me know. I have a really, really good agreement with them where I can basically just ask them for anything and they'll send it to me. So if there's anything that you're thinking about getting, just drop it down below, drop the link to it. I can, I'll can, i see what I can do for you. So if you like this video, don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Maybe you've been lurking on the channel for a while and you haven't subscribed yet. And uh, we'd love it if you would join the flock. So don't forget to hit subscribe, like the video, turn on notifications, and keep an eye out for our next one. Thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you next time. Mwah!